Hello everyone and welcome to Moon Natural. My name is Elisa and today's video is going to be my Easter special. It's a perfect opportunity to customize my Moriko ball jointed doll that I unboxed back in January. I want to make an Easter deer doll out of her. But enough for the introduction, let's get started already. This is the canvas we will be working with today. Moriko is a ball jointed doll I bought from Clockwork Fairy. I will link my unboxing video and Hadassah's Instagram in the description box below if you are interested in the doll. Alright, let's remove her magnetic antlers and ears and start with the wig. I've already prepared her wig cap. To protect the doll, I wrapped the hat in cling film and placed the cap on top for the gluing process. I've dyed a whole bunch of alpaca hair lilac and already made some wefts, so we can start gluing the wig right away. I usually just use hot glue to glue wigs because it's the fastest. Be careful however not to burn yourself with it. Now I'm just gluing layer by layer by layer. I think Moriko's wig needed the most hair of all wigs I've ever made. I used a total of I think 1.5 ounces of alpaca hair for her. That's quite a lot. I also decided to cut and style each layer before gluing the next one, because it makes things easier in the end. This is how the wig looks before adding the part wefts. For the parting I cut a slit into the wig cap and pushed the parting wefts through the slit. Then using some hot glue, I glue them to the inside of the cap. This method makes sure you won't see any glue showing through the hair on top of the wig. For me this is the best way to make the parting of wigs. And here is the wig all finished up. The final styling however I'm always doing when I dress up the doll completely in the end. Time to make some gigantic eyes! Moriko wears 26mm eyes and it's impossible to find eye bases that big. That's why I printed these bases with my 3D resin printer. For extra whiteness of the scleras, I painted them titanium white before starting to color the iris. I wanted to go for some teal colored eyes first, but after painting them I kind of didn't really like the color at all. Even after adding shimmers I was not satisfied. Hmm, okay, new plan. Pink eyes. I just recolored the eyes and added a darker circle around the corner of the irises. It looks so much better already. Then I'm using some pink UV glitter gel and spread a little blob evenly on both eyes. I'm adding big rhinestones for the pupil and cure everything under the UV lamp for one minute. Then I'm adding multiple layers of UV resin with glitter and gemstones. I dome and gloss them with resin in the end and here's how they looked all finished. If you want a more in-depth video on making eyes, you can become one of my patrons and get access to my eye making video. Time to paint her face. 
I remove the faceplate from the body and start by adding glitter and blushing first after I already sprayed her with MSC. I started with light shading and then go in darker and darker, always blending it in nicely. I'm also blushing her lips with some pink. Then I use a black watercolor pencil to sketch out her eyeliner. Getting the shape of it right always takes a little while, just like in real life. After I sketched the first eyeliner layer, I'm already painting her lower lashes because I usually need some tries to get them right. I use light brown watered down gouache paint, a tiny brush and a lot of patience. Sorry for my hair showing on the screen here. Here I already added paint to her eyeliner as well and sketched out the first eyebrow. I'm drawing the eyelid lines on the second line here. I sketch them out with a pencil first and paint the fade later with a brush. Then I'm using pastel chalk dust to sketch out the shape of the eyebrow. After that I'm going in it with a brush and add some single hairs to it. I decided to give her eyeshadow that has a gradient from gold to teal to pink. I add some golden and teal paint first and make the fade with pink pastels. Looks really nice so far. I decided to add some white freckles to her cheeks and nose for some cuteness as well. to glue some lashes. I spread some white PVA glue on the inner lids and just glue on the lashes. Now just some glasses missing. I'm glossing her lips and her waterline. We can finally add her eyes. I use blue tack around the eyes to glue them in place on the inside of the doll head. It always takes some time to place them right, but here she's all together. I love her so much already. Time to make her dress. I first glue around the edges of the top of the dress. Then I layer them with some white fabric, hem them together and add a lace. I sew on the back pieces of the bodice to the shoulders. I also make sure to iron the seam allowances flat. Then I'm folding the sleeve cuffs in half, gather the bottom of the sleeves and add the cuffs to the sleeves. I 
I iron it in place, gather the top of the sleeves and add them to the bodice. Looks so cute! For the collar, I add the cutout piece to a piece of fabric, then hem them together and cut off the excess. Then I'm turning it inside out and iron it flat. I'm pinning the collar to the neckline and sew it on. Now I can close the side seams. I decided to add some beading and button leads to the top as well. The skirt is a long fabric stripe on which I added some lace on the bottom. I'm just gathering the top part of it and sew it onto the dress. Perfect! Before we can continue with the dress, we need to add the decorations. Blue Pixie Art was so nice to sculpt a lot of flowers for me and I 3D printed them with my 3D printer. I also got some flowers from Thingiverse. I will link them in the description box below. I glued the flowers on some double face tape and started painting them. I wanted spring flowers for the doll, so we have daffodils, sakura flowers, daisies, tulips and more. I paint them with acrylics. After the paint job, I add some shading to the flowers with pastels and seal them with MSC afterwards. I'm so so happy how they turned out. I also decided to add some pearly shimmers to them for some extra sheen. Time to glue them onto the dress. I use Patek's multi glue and arrange some flowers before gluing them on to see how it would look. Then I'm working my way through the whole skirt. And here's the skirt all done. I've never thought it would turn out so pretty and I low-key want this dress for myself. I just had to close the back seam, add some closures and also added a little bow in the front of the dress. And it's done! I wanted to decorate her endless as well, so I blushed them with pink pastels first. Then I used some blue tack to add little flowers to them. By using blue tack, I can remove the flowers easier in case I want to change her look in the future.
I also added some blushing and some earrings to her little deer ears. For her feet, I still had these little boots laying around and they matched her outfit perfectly. And yeah, she's done! I really love how her colors all match together. She looks like a pastel spring rainbow. What do you like about her? Please let me know in the comments below. I'm happy we have a garden behind our house so I could sneak out to take some shots in nature with her. And here she is, all finished. It was a lot of work to make her, but I'm so in love with the spring and Easter vibes that I get from her. She's like a flower bouquet and I really love that. I hope that she gives you some good vibes and happiness as well in these difficult times. And as always, thanks to all of my patrons for their incredible support. Without you, I couldn't make what I love to do. And if you like my work as well, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel for some future custom fun. Thank you guys so much for watching, stay safe and healthy and happy Easter!